everybody welcome to another tutorial lesson in this one we're going over the new version of Philogix PBR Painter Pro 3.1.1 and so it's a couple of new features um, one it's just having used it before and I really find it fun so let's just jump right in and I'm gonna subdivide this monkey head like three times and apply that and then just shade it smooth now we can pull up Philogix and let's click new shader. So they upgraded the workspace here a little bit so it looks a little bit cleaner. You can add um, more materials. So we'll click new pick shader. I'm going to go with metallic and click OK. I'm going to bake with a quality of 2 and a size of 2048. I'm going to choose the normals, the ambient, and the curvature and I'll see you on the other side of the bake. So Go to paint layers and what we're going to do is work mostly with custom layers and then we're going to work mainly with the layer channel. So you can go ahead to the base and let's add a smart material or anything you want. I'm going to choose aluminum. I really like the aluminum. You can adjust the roughness to your liking and you can adjust the color if you wish. Now one of the cool features here and I just haven't done this before and I don't I don't believe it's in any of the previous versions that you can do this, but you hold down Alt and right click and just hold it. Hold both the right mouse and the Alt button. You can now adjust the HDRI to wherever you want. So I can throw a different HDRI in here and get a very good look at my model and kind of pan that HDRI around. So if you haven't done that before, then this will give you a good option uh, looking at the curvature and the ambient occlusion areas on your mesh. Now with that out of the way, uh, let's go over to the layer channel and let's add some paint in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click the paint button here, come down to new. Let's highlight this, press the right arrow, put in shift uh, number eight, which will put an asterisk and you can put two. It'll give you automatically 2048. Now we can leave the color on here black for right now and just click OK. And what's going to happen is this is going to put a layer mask on here. Now I'm going to come back over to the base. I'm going to add a smart material. I'm come down here to the little material ball. I'm going to add smart rust, which is my absolute favorite. And um, that was part of the new 3.1 upgrade. And what you can see is automatically the curvature and AO maps that were baked are what you know that's what's getting the rust but what if you want the rust in a different area right so you like i said you change the bump the ambient occlusion it's pretty cool very useful sometimes you don't have to do more than that and you can play with the detail to make it look like uh, more of a musgrave or chipped paint i prefer the detail to be pretty high and then the surface surface grain just a little over half so it's kind of spread out and not too isolated but what we want to actually do is affect our map and this is white so that's not actually going to help us so let's go back over to the layer uh, actually i'll click here and i'll put in base and then i'm going to put rust in for the other material and I'm actually just going to go to the rust and I'll add a paint layer here as well. I'll go ahead and click new. Leave it at 2048 and hit OK. And as you can see what happens, everything disappears, right? So quick fix for this is go to the paint panel. Let's click paint. And what we can do is go to texture paint and you can see the uh, UV behind it is all black, so just make sure you've got white selected, go to the paint bucket, and then just left click anywhere, and that's going to change that to um, white for the background, because it's add or multiply black or white. And it'll all make sense as we go through it. So what we'll do is we'll go back over to the basic layout, and now everything is uh, covered in the rust, right? And so we could do this a couple few different ways. We could have just the metallic material showing and then paint the rust in. Or we can have the rust covering absolutely everything. Okay. 
and then uh, paint in the silvery aluminum material. So what we want to do actually is paint the rust in, and so this needs to be changed. So with everything completely rusty, what we want to do is come up here, and you don't have to do it, you don't have to switch it here, you can just hit X, and you'll see I'm switching between black and white, and this is what you're going to need in order to paint. And so if I paint here, I can bring back the base material. But the base material is not actually showing. So what we've got to do, let's go back to the base. Try not to lose anybody on this. It's a little confusing at first, but it does get a lot easier. I'll come back over here. And we'll see that the paint layer here on the base and on the layer mask, I added a layer mask. And this is just something that can happen to you not paying attention. You're just adding everywhere. Uh, so I'll delete the layer that's on my base that's on the layer channel. And I'll just come right here and delete it. And voila, there is our nice base material under there. So I'm going to go back to the base so we can see this. And we can change the roughness and have that nice material showing. Now we can go back to the rust. Let's go back to the layer and click paint again. Always make sure to click finish. And you kind of choose things like cracks if you want. And you can paint some really cool things in. And so there you go. You can kind of just go through. F moves the brush size up. You can kind of play around with this thing and remove or add the rust. And actually, I'll save the um, opposite workflow for another little short, quick video just to keep these nice and short. Because everybody's busy. We all got stuff to do, right? So make sure to smash that subscribe, smash that like button on the way out. Thank you for subscribing for all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? And I will see you guys in the next tutorial lesson. Make sure to remember to hit that alt and that right button after you click finish for your paint. I'll see you guys in the next one.